Hello team, how's it going? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Combat Ready HQ. We are going to be looking at the total number of UK Armed Forces, ships, tanks, aircraft. We've seen a lot about the US. We've been looking at the Swedish recently. We've looked at India and we've looked at all sorts. But let's actually look at the UK Armed Forces and see what state we're in. We spoke about it, how they have got rid of personnel. They spent all this money on new equipment vehicles, but they haven't received a lot of them. We're under budgeted. But let's see what we actually have. You can check out the original video in the description as always so make sure you go and give them a like and a follow and if you could like subscribe turn notifications bell on share this video whatever you can do to help push this channel i hugely appreciate it it's an annual snapshot of britain's military capabilities across the land sea and air domains first up the royal navy it currently operates 10 nuclear powered submarines including four vanguard class ballistic boats each of them carrying up to 16 trident nuclear missiles the Silent Service also has another six Astute and Trafalgar-class boats. As well as subs, the figures show the Navy currently has a fleet of around 60 other vessels, including okay. two aircraft carriers, 12 frigates and six destroyers. The Royal Fleet Auxiliary has another dozen ships, while in the air, the Fleet Air Arm has 16 squadrons. One interesting figure in the report is the number of British registered ships the military can <coughs> call upon Look if at needed. That. Passenger ferries, cargo ships and tankers. The latest figures put that at 495, down from 841 back in 2009. Turning to the British Army. So looking at that then, we know the numbers have dropped. But we do have two aircraft carriers, only one of a few nations to actually have aircraft carriers. The US having the most throughout the entire world um, and all the nations. But we do have two. So... 495 ships can be called upon. 10 submarines is pretty good. Four Vanguard. The Vanguard submarines are a decent submarine. So we do have that. But we know the numbers have dropped. Is it enough for today's world? I don't think it is personally. I think we've reduced the numbers too much. But let's look at the British Army. The report says it has just over 3,200 combat vehicles. That includes 845 APCs like the Bulldog and nearly 1,500 protected mobility vehicles such as Foxhound, Jackal and Husky. As well as those, the Army currently has around 900 armoured fighting vehicles, including 625 Warriors, 44 of the long-awaited Ajax and just over 200 Challenger 2 tanks. After gifting artillery systems to Ukraine, the Army now has around 60 AS-90 howitzers <laughs> many. and 20 MRLS launch vehicles. Not many at all. In terms of strength, there's currently 32 regular infantry battalions the same as the Army had in 2016, as well as 16 reservist units. The Army Air Corps has eight regiments, operating a total of 47 Apache helicopters, including Apaches. 31 of the new upgraded E model. Figures for the Royal Air Force show it currently... But looking at that, though, you've got 32 infantry battalions. I know for a fact some of them are so undermanned, it's ridiculous, that they were having other battalions send platoons and companies to backfill those battalions. Example, Scots Guards, I believe it was, were like at 47% manning or something ridiculous, and they were getting platoons given to them from like the Grenadier Guards and the Coldstream Guards to carry out exercises and operations because they just couldn't do it themselves. 800 sank armoured fighting vehicles. If it was the CVRT before that, that really wasn't a fighting fleet. Even the ones that were in storage that we took to Amman because half of them broke down, didn't work. Jackals, Huskies, absolutely brilliant vehicles, but how many of them are actually serviceable? Right, so you've got to look at it. They're not actually doing the numbers here, which is annoying. That We know we're around 70,000 personnel for the British Army. Yeah, we've got all those vehicles, just over 200 Chally tanks, but can we man them all? Are they all serviceable? You know, we've only got, what was it, 40, 39? AS90s remaining or 59 AS90s remaining like that's not actually that many when it comes to artillery pieces and you want to put them out say you've got on a long uh, attack line enemy line front and you've got to put artillery down all the way down that and it's hundreds and hundreds of miles long you haven't got much artillery pieces down to do that um how, yeah, how much of these vehicles are actually serviceable he has eight combat squadrons the same as in 2016 it operates around 560 fixed-wing aircraft, including 137 Typhoon jets it's not bad and 31 F-35B Lightnings. Nice. Of those airframes, 308 are currently in service. Across yes, the three services, I mean. the UK military has around 300 helicopters, 
The largest number, around 60, are Chinooks. Between them, the Army, Royal Navy and Royal Air Force also operate 194 drones, including around 100 of the new Puma UAVs. Nice. Simon Newton, Forces News. So, we've got the Chinooks, 60. Actually, not that many when you think you've got 32 infantry battalions, you've got FSTs attached, you've got engineer recce um, soldiers attached, you've got signalers attached, you've got SF units, you've got the Ranger regiments, like all doing their things. You've only got 60 Chinooks to fly them about the battlefield, and they're a great, great helicopter uh, and can be used all the time in all different scenarios. And then you've got back in the old days in Afghan when it was used as, mer as a medical emergency. I can't remember the exact name of it, but if you got injured, that come in. Like, if you actually look at it, it is not that many um, compared to where we were at. If you actually thought about it, only 300 so serviceable aircrafts out of the five 600 that they had. So that's the state we're in at the minute. There's the actual numbers. Once again, 32 infantry battalions. But how many personnel are in those battalions? What's the percentage of them actually being complete and filled? Um, you know, the slots. So... That's where we're at. Let us know what your thoughts are. Comment below. As always, check out the original video in the description. Like, subscribe, and turn notifications bell on. Cheers.